And we're going to begin here at five with a body believed to be Brendan Santo recovered from the Red Cedar River in Lansing. Police tell us they made the announcement this afternoon, but they are still awaiting tests to make the final confirmation on the identity of the remains. The body was found about one and a half miles from where he was last seen on Halloween weekend near Yakely Hall at Michigan State University. Sean Lay is live in Lansing tonight. Sean, was this a planned search today? It was a planned search, Karen and Sandra. I want to give everyone a lay of the land here about why law enforcement picked here and why today. 127 right behind me, Kalamazoo Street right behind me. By no means a, a remote area, but you can see how the planning to take place to make a path here, knock down and cut up all these trees, get through all this debris so crews could get a boat into the Red Cedar right here. And that is what crews were interested in searching today underneath all of that debris collecting in that part of the river and MSU Public Safety picks up the information from here saying the discovery was made just after noon today. So today after an extensive search MSU Police and Public Safety and our law enforcement partners recovered a body in the Red Cedar River at approximately 12:30 p.m. in Lansing. This location was approximately one and a half miles downriver of where Brendan Santo was last seen on campus. After more than 80 days of searching, worry, and hoping for a positive outcome, MSU Public Safety tells us the search for Brendan Santo likely ended at 1230 today in a debris-filled portion of the Red Cedar River in Lansing. The body is believed to be that of Brendan Santo, but identification is still pending. Santo, a student at Grand Valley State University, a Rochester native, was last seen the night of October 29th. He was last seen leaving an MSU residence hall shortly before midnight. Now, police tell us his car had remained parked in the same spot and that there was no activity ever detected on Santo's phone. The Santo family has been informed and we are providing them with as much information as, and support as possible during this difficult time. We are deeply saddened by this tragic loss and our thoughts go out to the Santo family and all those who knew Brendan. Back here live along the Red Cedar, crews are telling us it was actually very dangerous for them to get in that thick uh, debris in the water there to make this discovery. They also point out no foul play here they believe is involved in this uh, situation. Medical examiner now takes over for an autopsy and also at six o'clock reaction now, as you might expect, already pouring in. We'll hear from people who are here today looking on their own, hoping to find something to help find. Brendan, back to you. Such a heartbreaking update. All right. Thank you, Sean. We'll check back with you at six.